what is up guys i'm assuming this is on youtube so here is what we are out doing today i got my fx crown right here beautiful gun this is a 600 millimeter 177 cal we're at 40 yards target is down there we're gonna try to find the most accurate pellet we got exact beast diablos 16.2 grains knockout 10.3 grains knockout 13.43 grains we got h and n rabbit magnums coming in at 15.7 grains we got fx pellets 13.4 then we have um oh i forgot the name of these i'll link it if i can't remember but these are 21 grain 177s they're on top of my head i'll let you know if i remember so let's get shooting all right guys we just got done shooting here's my gun the crown with the accutech bipod and retire guns this gun shoots great and then i have a donnie fl old silencer on there so the first first stuff i shot was a knockout 10.03 grain slug now these came out rough as you can see right here's the group one two three four five six and they kind of just kept creeping over so that one was actually the worst performer. Next up is actually our best performer, the knockout 13.43 grain slug. This was impressive. That right there is five shots, just hole for hole. This was 25 yards. I had to make sure I wasn't missing because I just kept seeing one hole up there. I'm like, dang. Then. Had the FX pellets. These are 13.4 grain as well. Uh, they didn't perform too bad. Here's their groupings. Five shots. Four holes. Not bad. And then this is the second best projectile I was shooting. The Rabbit Magnum 2 by H&N. This is a 15.74 grain. So it's a little heavier. This is our group, five shots. Pretty much same hole, except for one out there. Really impressed with that one too. It's something a little heavier to shoot, so if you're going after pigeons instead of sparrows and starlings, that would be a good one to shoot. Then I shot the Exact Beast Diablo. They didn't perform bad either. It was, these are 16.20. Here's their grouping, about three holes on that, size of my fingertip. See that's probably a quarter of an inch. And then the one I was most excited for were these 21 grain. And they, they performed pretty good, which came out right over here. Not bad, so I I wouldn't put those out of the game. I'd use them for rock chucks, maybe. And then I was so impressed with those knockout 13.43 grains. I had to shoot them again. Right there, pretty much one hole. It's a little windy out, so that could be a little factor. But overall, I'd say the knockout JSB match 13.43 grain. And the H&N Rabbit Magnum 2, 16 point, oh no, 15.74 grain, my bad. Those two were the best slugs. And so if you're looking for a good 177 cow slug, I would recommend those. So go check them out. Check out Accutech. Check out Utah Air Guns. And you guys comment, subscribe, like. Tell me what you want to see. You guys have a good one. Bye.